According to the California Department of Education frameworks, the Science Foundation has four strands, and the first of these strands is scientific inquiry. And under this strand, this is how children build knowledge and understanding of scientific concepts um, through active participation and some basic inquiry skills are observing and describing, using scientific tools, measuring, classifying, predicting, checking, communicating, documenting, and we'll, we'll be going through these through this short video. There are two substrands under the strand of scientific inquiry. The first of these substrands is observation and investigation. With these skills, children learn how to observe, compare, measure, classify. They can also learn how to check and investigate objects and events. To help children develop observation and investigation skills, give them different tools, such as this magnifying glass. Children love to look at things through magnifying glasses, also rulers, measuring tape, and also different types of cups and containers so they can measure liquid. Also, ask children to describe what they are observing. Maybe you can show them different objects, such as this cactus, and then you can just ask them, what do you notice about this cactus? Is this a plant? How do you know it's a plant? The second substrand of scientific inquiry is documentation and communication. With these skills, children learn how to record information and to communicate what they have observed, what they found, and learn how to explain these to adults and their peers. If the child is able, you can have the child write down what they observed using words. If they are not at that stage yet, you can just have them draw a picture. And then the other thing that you can do is ask them questions and then you can go ahead and record and write down their words for them or just simply describe the picture that they just drew. So for example, you can either show them a flower or a picture of a flower and ask them how many petals do you see on this flower and they'll tell you six and then you can either have them write it down if they're able or you can write it down for them or maybe they can point to a number to show, the, show you that they understand what the number six looks like. Either way, they are learning how to document and communicate what they have observed. So I hope that this short video helped you to understand this strand of the science curriculum.